Here it is. The Cleveland Browns team against the Cincinnati Bengals. That's right. The Cleveland Browns team against the Cincinnati Bengals. Go Cleveland. Sample falls on it back at the 37. Yeah, see, this is the problem 
with those long developing plays. They're trying to Something run the screen. They want right. to fake to the right and then throw a screen to the left to Evans. And Jadavion Conley just blows the whole thing up. Drew Sample had no chance against them. And that's where you have to watch out. Those defensive ends, you take up okay, too much time on so that play calling those plays and executing. Oh, oh. They got really lucky he didn't pick up that fumble. Yeah, it's a little different in practice than in the game, Brandon Allen. Now the challenge flag comes out. A couple of questions on that last play. Was Clowney down before he lost the football? Clowney down. Challenge flag came from the Bengals' sideline. Zach is saying, yeah, I should have never called that. And that play took too long. Cincinnati is challenging the moving on the field with a fumble. Let's take a look, Kenny. Well, what do you have? We have a couple of things. Jack Chow, uh, Taylor challenging the fumble. Was it a forward pass? And then you also have to wonder if, if Cloudy was down. Right. So, Dean Blandino joins us from Los Angeles. Uh, Dean, a bunch of things to look for on this last play. Yeah, two things to look at. Like you said, was it a fumble? And the key is the hand coming forward with control. When does he lose it? He's going to lose the ball after it starts back towards his body. So I do think it's a fumble. Then you look at the second part. Did Clowney recover it, and was he down by contact? Looks like he never actually gained possession. So it's a fumble recovered by Cincinnati. Here's a look at the, at the fumble here. And on that last replay, it certainly did look like Clowney lost the football before he was down. Now, does that go back to the tough rule? Patriots, Raiders, Brady, similar type of motion. It's going forward and comes back down with the ball and pops out. So After you're doing the play, the ruling on field stands. Cincinnati is charged with their first timeout and loses their first challenge. Uh, All right, Dean, do you agree with the call? I do, I do. And, and like Jonathan was saying, that is exactly the tough rule. So prior to the rule change, that would have been a pass back in the Tom Brady versus the Raiders day. But now that's a problem. In the yes. snow up in Foxborough. Thanks, Dean. So the ball spotted back at the 37-yard line. Bengals lose the challenge. Lose the timeout. And they have third in the mile. Yes, third down and 33. Allen, Evans out of the backfield. Evans taken down at the 49-yard line. So... On third and 33, Bengals unable to convert. Surprise, surprise. What a shot. 14 <laughs> 0. So Cincinnati will punt it away for the sixth time. Kevin Huber matching that franchise record. The score is now 14 0. Getting their money's worth out of him. Oh, they really are. Today. I know Zach Taylor is not going to be excited about this offensive performance. catch called for at the 16 yard line well it's week 18 and then next weekend the postseason it all kicks off with super wild card weekend Saturday doubleheaders super Sunday wild doubleheader. card weekend now for the first time ever a wild card Monday three days six games one epic weekend the road to Super Bowl 56 yeah. starts here AFC playoff picture Chiefs, Titans, Bengals, Bills, Patriots are in. The other five teams battling for two spots. And yeah, this is going to be the game. You guys circled the Chargers, Raiders. That's going to be a really good game tonight. Madden Cruiser on hand. Here's Johnston. Johnston. Take it home. Outside. Out to the 22-yard line. Tennessee now leading Houston 14 nothing. The Titans victory, and they clinch the top seed in the conference. Tennessee looking to take care of business. You know John Bad would have loved week 18 and all the all the playoff scenarios oh, and then yes. super wild card weekend. Oh, oh yes. He would have circled those guys shirtless. shirtless scrub, would he have tried to have done something? In the cold? I don't think so. Okay. Hey, there, there was a limit. There was a limit. By the one short sleeve shirt. As he did on many occasions while coaching. Second and three is Johnson. That's him. 
Picks up a first down out to the 35-yard line. You know, wearing these pins in honor of Coach Madden today, and sometimes you get your best ideas on social media. Gentleman named Richard Levy suggested earlier today about the NFL going to new coins next season with John Madden's face on one side, that's heads, and the NFL logo on the other side, tails. You like that? I like that. What the NFL say? Open to it? This might be the first time they're hearing about it. Okay. Got a ball. Uh oh, lost the football. That might be a fumble. Bengals recover. Ah, fiddle sticks. Taken in by Trayvon Henderson. I love that the refs let the play go on. That is a fumble. The ball. She just threw the ball away. First career touchdown. Score review. Something isn't right. That's Wyatt Ray, 93, with the pressure. I thought the ball I hit the ground Wyatt before Ray he scoops goes it up. For the arm. Goes for the ball, goes for the arm. Instead of trying to just bring him down. That's what causes the fumble. Case Keaton could not get his arm going forward for the incompletion. This is Elliot Fry, who has the extra point, filling in for Evan McPherson today, has had a terrific season. So a defensive touchdown for the Cincinnati Bengals. Off the hit by Wyatt Ray. Keenum lost the football, returned for the touchdown by Batman Trayvon Henderson. 7 to 14, 14 to 7. Get a spark. The offense has been really, really sluggish. And again, it doesn't matter to the coaches or to the players who's in, who's not, what stars are playing. You go out there and you perform, you execute. Taylor's Bengals, the offense, six possessions, six punts, defense comes up with their first score of the day. Yeah, and defensive coordinator, Lou Anarumo, he said, look, I will be happy if we do the basics, the fundamentals, we go out there, we play hard, we communicate. That right there is exactly what they needed is Lou Anarumo, Anarumo, defensive coordinator, and he was very frank, look, the game plan is simple. So that these guys can fly around, and that's exactly what they did on that series, causing that turnover and getting the touchdown, sparking this offense. Three and a half remaining, second quarter. 14-7 Browns lead. Marcus Bradley on the return for Cleveland. Out to the 27-yard line. Kenny Alvin along with Jonathan Vilma here in Cleveland. And these are the pins we're talking about honoring Coach Madden. Yeah, deservedly so, right? He's the reason why, as I, I said last week, you know, we got into this game because of growing up watching Madden, listening to Madden, not only as a great coach, a great broadcaster, he was also a very good player. So everything that we now see about the game and how exciting the game is, how fun the game is, how we can get into it and talk about it, it's because of him. And also playing Madden, of course. Well, I, I stunk at that. So <laughs> that's why I didn't bring that one up. <laughs> All right, we'll keep that in mind, yes. Man, my teammates at Miami, they should kick my butt. Man, <laughs> I just stopped playing. First me, I was like, yeah, I can't do this. Are you talking about the guys that you were playing with on offense or defense? Both. So I tried my hand with some of the freshmen. I had DJ Williams was one of, one of my uh, classmates at the time, and he would kick my butt. And you know, some of the older guys, they would try to force me to play. I was like, you know, I'm good. I'm just going to 
Stay on the side over here. Just kind of watch. Come on, You're Cleveland Browns. Yes, thank you. Thank you. National Championship? Yeah. Okay, just keep stroking my ego. Throw the ball. Chuck it down and check. <laughs> Here's Keenum rolling right. Keenum a pump fake. Oh. And then he's knocked out of bounds by Clay Johnston at the 27-yard line. Case Keenum starting for the injured Baker Mayfield today. Brandon Allen for Joe Burrow on the other side. Battle of Ohio, both franchises founded by Paul Brown. Great history. Yes. It doesn't look like the Browns any rush are in any rush to call a play before the two-minute warning. They'll take that down. Let's not forget, that first game, first time they played, the Browns took it to the Bengals. Looking to continue that success today.